From November 5th to 8th, myself and hundreds of others will be staging sit-ins at Justin Trudeau's new home to welcome him and call on him to take bold action on climate. We'll also be delivering gifts, including petitions, water samples from at-risk bodies of water, and Canadian-made solar panels for the 24 Sussex renovations. In other words, some very passive-aggressive gifts. So why pressure Trudeau so soon on climate? Because he's attending the most important climate summit ever in Paris next month. We're making sure he hears from the Canadians committed to a climate policy in line with actual science, because he'll be hearing plenty from oil industry lobbyists. The pipeline from Calgary to the Prime Minister's ear is already built. And in case you still think the oil industry we're pushing back against gives a crap about you, your country, or your planet, two new independent investigations may change your mind. They showed that Exxon knew about climate change in 1978, predicted its progress very accurately, and then proceeded to create and fund the climate denial movement to protect their profits. That's historic, soul-boggling evil that would make the eye of Sauron cry. This is not an industry that deserves a spot at Trudeau's table when he's deciding climate change policy. And the only table Exxon deserves to be at is in a prison cafeteria.